In this video, we will cover the basics of running a dive meet using the Gen 7 diving software. For information on creating meets, events, and adding divers, see our diving meet and event creation video. Begin by opening the Gen 7 diving software. Double click the desired meet from the list of available meets on the meets screen. With the desired meet loaded, double click on any event to open the event screen. In the current events screen, all of the divers for that event are shown in the center area of the screen. Controls to add, edit, remove, and set diver order are in the top portion of the screen. Click the judges call button to send a signal to the judges terminals notifying the judges that an event is about to begin. When the judges call button has been clicked, a window will open to select either panel A or panel B. Select the appropriate panel for the dive that is about to start. To run the event, click the Run Event button. There are four main areas in the Run Event screen that are used most regularly while running an event. The first is the area where the current diver, the dive information, and diver's current score are displayed. This section is also where the navigation buttons to advance to the next dive or to scroll back through completed dives are located. The next area is where the information for the diver who is next up and their planned dive are displayed. The third area is the leaderboard area of the screen. Here is where the current results for each athlete are displayed. The leaderboard is automatically updated as scores are calculated. The fourth area is the judges award section of the screen. This is where the judges awards are either displayed or entered. If using Gen 7 diving with CTS judges terminals, the awards entered by the judges will display here once a judge submits their award for a dive. If judges' terminals are not being used during an event, or if the need should arise to enter a score manually, the award entry buttons at the bottom of the screen can be used. Simply click on the judge number to highlight it. Then click the corresponding awards from the judge's scorecard to enter and save the award. Double-clicking a judge number will clear the judge's award. Once all the judges' awards come in for a dive, the software will automatically cast out the high and low scores that were set during the event creation and perform the necessary calculations to arrive at a score for the dive. Simply click the next arrow after all the scores have come in to proceed to the next diver in the diving order. If you have not entered a dive list for a diver, you will be prompted to enter a dive number when you click Next Dive. This allows you to enter data as the event progresses. If a penalty needs to be assessed, click the penalty button and select the appropriate option. If you assess the penalty before the dive has been completed, the penalty will be calculated after all the scores have come in. If a penalty needs to be undone, simply remove the penalty from the drop-down menu. In the event that a diver fails their dive, click the fail button. If it is later determined that the diver did not fail, Click the Unfail button to remove the failed status and reinstate the recorded awards from the dive. For more information about Gen 7 Diving, check out our other videos or visit our website for more details.